Wow. Um, <laughs> you know, it's been an incredible two and a half years. Um, I will say that, you know, my tenure at CDC has been intense. I did what I came to do, which was get us through the darkest days of the pandemic. At the end of the public health emergency, it felt like the right time for me to step down. I certainly didn't want to step down at a time of crisis. I wanted to get through crisis. I wanted to be intentional. Um, to have a lot of the hard work, um, the reflection, the hard work done, the lessons learned done. It, it, isn't, it isn't even burnt out. It was just, um, it was an extraordinary pace. Um, and I wanted to make sure that somebody um, after me would give it the same time, energy, and intensity that I had been giving it. There were pieces of this job that I knew were going to be intense and hard and challenging. Um, and some of the hardest ones were not the ones I envisioned. Um, this has been one of them. It is, it, you know, I never expected that when I am um, trying to run to be of aid to somebody, that they would um, be actually turned off by my very existence. Um, you know, so those kinds of things, the, the threats in front of my house, um, the threats to my family or my personal life, that, that was, or my, me personally, that was not ever what I expected this job would be. I think the last three years have been so hard that people can't bring themselves to remember the hardest days. Um, the days where we didn't know when a vaccine would come or whether it would be protective. The days we were literally in lockdown of our houses wondering if our parents and our elder generation would survive. Those days are just hard to remember and to recognize that those days happened on, on top of a frail public health system, an underinvested public health system. Um, if we don't remember those days, we will not continue those investments in public health. And those investments need to happen.